We got an awesome project box here for you from Alien 3D. I've heard a lot about them. I bet you have too. Let's get this thing open and see what's inside. This is the November box, which just showed up at the end of December. Let's get into it. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. And if you like cool project boxes like this, make sure to let us know down in those comments, get subscribed and leave a like as well. I'm thinking about starting to do these projects for channel videos, but also the wiring and such for live streams. Would love to know your opinion, let me know. But anyways, let's dive into this. This is the November Alien 3D kit thing. And uh, for those wondering, yes, it's late December that I'm filming this. Actually, December 27th, 2021. It came in right before Christmas, actually. These all got lost in shipping. Even though Alien 3D is about an hour and a half north of where we are, everything got lost in shipping because their local USPS sucks. TLDR. But in here is the full Alien 3D kit. Now, we've got some really interesting cards. I really like these cards, actually. These are for the filament samples that exist inside the box. Now, from a filming standpoint, glossy paper, not a huge fan of that, but otherwise, we've got Precision 3D Filament, Silver, Gunmetal, or Starship Gray PLA, Super Fila, Green PLA, or Super Fila, Super Fila, Super Fila, Green PLA, Snow Labs Mint Green PLA Plus, and Xyltech Milky White PLA. Now, working with Xyltech in the past, that's definitely theirs. This mint green from Snow Labs, actually really, really like that. Silver gunmetal and this green, which I do happen to like as well. We've got our electronics kit. We're going to go through that. We've got a little Snow Labs sticker. Everyone loves stickers. Gotta love the stickers. Put that above there. We've got a snack stick. Um, turkey flavor. What the? Ingredients. Turkey. Mechanically separated turkey. Contains 2% or less of salt, corn, syrup, solids. Spices, dextrose, lactic, okay. It's a, it, it's a turkey stick. And a set of metric sockets. So Josh from Alien 3D likes to include little goodies every single month. And I'm told there's always a snack and there's always, you know, something useful. This is a set of metric. Yep. Metric sockets all the way down to four millimeters up to 13. So there is a bloody freaking 10 mil in here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's great. All right. Let's get the filament samples out of the way here. I do really like those two greens. I'm not a huge fan specifically of the Milky White PLA. Now let's get into the electronics. For November, it is an hourglass. And what I'm told is that there's normally enough filament in these samples to go ahead and print the hourglass. That's gonna be really weird looking hourglass. Let's dump all this stuff out and see what we got. Now, we've got a mini USB Arduino. Ooh, we're gonna need to cut stuff open. An Arduino Nano, so very common Arduinos. Of course, in the nice packaging, I do like this. We've got ourselves an Arduino Nano. Not the right foam, but whatever. A tiny little toggle switch. Nine volt battery, we've got some leads there. In here, we've got one of the screens. So these have LED matrices, or matrix I? Mat matrices, matrices for the actual hourglass system. So it uses these LED matrices. And the cool thing that I do like about this, and thanks to DSK, Mr. Fernando himself, we'll link to him down below as well. He's the one that designed this project with Alien 3D. It's got pins and an accelerometer. So, you know, accelerometer stuff. I'm told that as you rotate this thing, it works as if it was actually made of sand. So let's get everything open here. Let's see what all we have in the box. We've got another screen here with some more of these little wires. These things are great. If you work with Arduinos, these little 
pin systems are awesome. There's more of them here. And oh, it even includes a USB cable. As dumb as that sounds, a lot of us have these. The mini ones are not the most common, at least in my shop. So we've got two different matrices. Actually, they're identical, right? Yep, two identical matrices, a bunch of wires, nine volt battery in power, Arduino, and the accelerometer. Let's get the parts. There are no instructions for this, but they all can be found on alien3d.us. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look at these together. I'm excited to build this project. Let's get it all put together. Okay, back at the computer, let's take a look at everything that we got here. We can see the November 2021 UFO, the filament people and all the goodness. But what we really care about is going over to Prusa Printers and taking a look at DSK, Fernando, and this awesome piece here. So let's go through the photos real quick and see what we're working with. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to look really weird color wise, but you know what? I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I like that it's pretty much solderless there's gonna be just a little bit of soldering but you know what that's okay with me so we've got our parts list we've got our programming guide as well so all the data that we're going to need is here but what we're concerned about right now well it's the files let's go ahead and get everything that we need to make this thing happen Vundaba, let's get ourselves Bruce slicer so as expected this is going to be, I think, two or three prints total. Um, let's just take a look at everything that we got here. These pieces here will need to be printed eight times. Everything else is printed once. So let's go here and let's get eight of these. Beautiful. Okay, now I am going to think about this. I'm going to rotate them all vertically because it will make this whole process of making things fit quite a bit easier. This file to me is upside down, so we're gonna make it the right side up. Looks like everything snaps into place. And now we gotta choose all of our colors. It looks like it's gonna be probably three total prints. We've got four colors to choose, and this is gonna be the world's weirdest looking hourglass. Now I'm looking, oh man, this, uh, this PLA is all cracked. That might mean this is not useful. This is the color that I was really looking forward to. But uh, let's do, I think, the back of it in this green, as well as that back cover. Because the back cover you don't see anyway. So let's do those out of this green. And let's do let's do the base and the top out of the silver. I do like this silver. Assuming we have enough of it. I don't know how big these filament samples are. They appear to be about 100 grams. All right, let's use this crazy green here. Let's turn off the pillars. The front, the back. We'll keep the 9 volt clip in there. That's fine. It's all Prusman PLA. Let's get this thing sliced up. 91 grams. So we should use most of this sample spool. All right. I'm going to get these prints rolling. We're going to get them sent to the printers. We're going to throw up the bunch of time lapses on the screen. And let's hit it. Awesome, we got the parts. Let's build this thing. I've got open here the instructions from DSK Fernando, and uh, we'll put them up on the screen here so you guys can take a look. But basically, we're gonna be doing some Arduino programming and we're gonna be doing just a little bit of soldering. So we got our soldering iron here and we're gonna be going for it. But the first thing to do is get the electronics wired up. Now, a lot of what I'm seeing here is utilizing these actual, um, these connectors. So these are female to female JST 2.54. That's not entirely important, but that's okay. We have the Arduino. We're going to need the back plane and we're gonna need a nine volt, which I don't have here, but I can go get. Okay. So wiring diagram says we're going to interrupt the positive of the battery. So we're going to get started by doing some soldering here. 
All right, so this is a single pull, single throw switch. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. We chose some kind of odd colors, and uh, that's okay. You don't have to choose, like, beautiful colors. I went with some odd ones just because I could. All right, soldering iron's getting heated up. Gonna get some solder here. Leaded solder because we can. We got our safety glasses because we're gonna be doing some soldering. We're gonna go ahead and do all the wiring. We're gonna time lapse through that for you guys. Patreon is gonna get the full length edit. So if you wanna see this thing in real time, go ahead over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers. I'm gonna get at it. Enjoy. All right, well, don't make the mistake that I just did. I put too much heat on the switch, and to my defense, it really wasn't a ton of heat. I happen to have another switch, but it is not going to fit uh, without some modification. So, you know, we've got a soldering iron. I'm just going to send it. Just going to send it. I'm going to make some lines. We're just going to burn it out with a soldering iron because... Why the heck not? So, unfortunately, because we broke the switch, I had to put a different one in, and hilariously, uh, mine fits pretty well. The issue that we have, though, is I didn't widen the hole enough, and it's not going to go any deeper than this, which is fine, but that means we have to secure it. Um, I've got quite possibly one of the greatest tools Ryobi ever made, or makes, and it is their 18-volt cordless hot glue gun. So we're going to go ahead and put some hot glue in here. Very much a case of the little dab will do ya. The bigger the gob, the better the job, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to wait for that to heat up while we're doing that. We're going to look at putting in some more of these pieces. Okay, beautiful. We got that soldered on, so it's not going to go anywhere. That's what we want to see. I got my safety glasses on so I don't get molten metal in my poor little eyeballs.
Here's the problem. It compiles just fine on my Intel-based computer inside. However, it does not compile fine on my Ryzen computer that's out here. And unfortunately, the Intel computer inside doesn't want to open COM ports. So we can compile it, but we can't upload it. We can't compile it out here. All right, we've had a little bit of time off camera to work on this thing. It's fully wired, it's ready to go, and now it's finally updated. That took longer than I cared to admit, ran to a couple of technical difficulties with the two computers that I tried, but now everything is running after a quick update. I love these snap fittings. Fernando, you did an amazing job. And at almost 1 a.m., you answered a Discord DM from me. I didn't expect you to answer it. But I said, if I don't send it to him now, I'm going to forget to do it. So I did. And he answered it. Good on you, buddy. I appreciate that. Alright, and there you have it, the big ol' freaking hourglass. This thing is really cool. Again, I couldn't use the stock switch. It's kind of not great. I ended up using a toggle switch. We'll link to those down in the description. Use the soldering iron to go ahead and clean it up and make the hole big enough and a little bit of hot glue to hold it in there. But everything fits together via snap fits, which is absolutely amazing. And Fernando DSK, the guy that designed this thing for Alien 3D did such an amazing job because there is no glue holding this together. And I have confidence that it's not gonna come apart. Thankfully, it's not that heavy either. But I know what you're here for. Let's get this payoff. Are you ready? There you go. I don't know how long it takes. Let me see if I can check the code real quick. I presume this thing is 60 seconds and we should be able to see it in here. I don't know how long this thing actually takes, but our editor will put it up on the screen because he's gonna have multiple shots of this when it's working. But this thing is absolutely cool. And the cool thing is you can turn it and because there's an accelerometer, the sand, the digital sand, will react accordingly. And I really, really like this. I, I think it's a cute little timer. It's a nice little desk piece that you can have up on a shelf. People are gonna ask what it is, especially when it's in these crazy colors. Everything from the Jesse PLA mix record number seven, the Make Shaper light blue, and the Super Fila green that actually came in the kit, and the CC3D uh, thermochromic orange to yellow PLA. Thermochromic filament is always fun because you can put handprints on things. But for less than 40 bucks, this project is really, really hard to beat. It's an absolute afternoon of learning, fun, hot glue guns. Because come on, who doesn't love using hot glue guns? Little bit of soldering. And if you've had the Alien 3D box long enough, you've actually gotten a soldering iron in it. This is my first Alien 3D box. But I'm excited for this project. I really did like it. We did run into some technical difficulties, but that's a me thing, not a them thing. We found this out. It took a little bit of time. But I really, really did enjoy this. It's a little bit of learning about Arduino, a little bit about programming, 
and a lot about making. So if you got a maker in your life that you're like, I honestly don't know what the hell to get them. And until Kiwi Co sponsors me, I won't do sponsor plugs for them. But this is a great little alternative to a Kiwi Co system. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts down in those comments. I'm very, very curious. Leave a like and get subscribed if you haven't already. And as always, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones and keep making awesome. Have a good one. Thermochromic filament, handprint. Let's go. See you later. <laughs> Time is literally ticking away. Ticking away. Make the best of your days. Cut that shit out. Why do I say these things? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you love Maker products, make sure you get yourself the Alien 3D box down below. I want to give a massive thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you all for what you do in making these things possible. The Patreon fully funds this kit every single month, so I'm really excited to be able to do this on camera, show it off to you guys. Let me know if you want to do this monthly. I think it'd be kind of a cool little monthly video. If you love build series, right below me will be the Prusa Mini build series where Amber and I race to the finish to see who could build a mostly assembled Prusa Mini plus the fastest. And the results may surprise you. It's actually a lot closer than either of us were expecting. And right next to that is going to be the Ender 3 series because if you find this video, you might have an Ender 3. Ender 3 is not a bad printer, but could use a little bit of work. I will see you guys down in those comments. And to the next one, the clock's ticking. Take care.